All right, here's our 24-foot castle peak from Tiny Mountain Houses. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a tour. Here's the front door. Going into the kitchen, we've got a gas range, an apartment-sized refrigerator. The range is also apartment-sized, pretty substantial for a tiny home. You've got your granite countertop, your tile backsplash, white beadboard siding, upgrading lighting finishes, apartment size gas range, apartment size refrigerator, RV style toilet, full bathroom with shower of course. the bathroom, going into the living room area, the kitchen area with granite countertops, tile backsplash, the California king size loft, then below that is the den or computer room, which can also be configured into a bedroom. You can do a Murphy bed in the wall there that flips down. I can close off that door. I can add a pocket door right here in between, and that's a bedroom. As it sits, you can add a futon, a little couch here, maybe a few chairs, and again, use this as a computer room, a TV room, a desk, an office. A lot of versatility. Looking from this door through the house, you see again the living room area, the kitchen area, and then you get to see the queen size loft or kids loft or additional bedroom. And of course the bathroom that I showed you. Laminate flooring, this is a rolled good flooring. Looks like real wood. It's a great look, great option, really light, really cost effective. Library, a ladder system to get up to the loft. We can put a staircase there if somebody wants. Same for the other side that I'm gonna show you. The ladder's not there right now, hooks over the top, you can climb up. Removable if needed. Again, we can do a staircase if needed there too. You can even run a catwalk between the two lofts to let the kids have some fun. I'd add a safety railing, of course, but it can be done. The 24-foot Castle Peak is an RV. See the hitch here? This can be towed with your heavy-duty pickup down the freeway without a permit. Weighs about 10,500 pounds. And again, is built to the RV code, so is an RV. Big advantage. Allows you to keep these wherever an RV is allowed to be kept. Allows you to finance this through a credit union with an RV loan at 100%. A lot of versatility. We're actually one of the only tiny home builders that builds to the RV code. Beautiful exterior look, LP siding, galv aluminum siding as an accent, plenty of windows for plenty of lighting, a great unit, great for the city, great for the beach, great for the mountain, great getaway, can be a secondary home for your backyard or a primary home. I want to go ahead and show you how you would hook this up, how you would use the utilities. Underneath you can see a propane hookup, just like an RV would have. See the scissor jacks there to keep things level. It really is just like an RV. Over here, you can see the septic. You can hook in a tank. You can also go with something like an incinerating toilet, composting toilet, or a cartridge toilet if you wanted to, if you didn't want a tank, or to hook into existing septic. Here's your power over here. This house is powered 
by a 30 amp 220 volt system. Very easy to run. You can actually convert this unit to run completely off of solar if that was your choice. And go 100% off the grid with your home.